Hey guys, I am a firm believer that you will never live above your persuasion. I am a firm believer that you will never perform above your persuasion or what you believe you're capable of performing. It's me again, Ron Williams, Natural Bodybuilder of the Decade, and this is the Ron Williams YouTube channel. I wanna to talk to you today, and this is a two-part series. I'm gonna to talk to you about your persuasion and what you believe. I want this channel to be inspiring to you. I want this channel to be motivating and to build you up and to make you better, bigger, and stronger as a human being. It's not just your physical body, but what I personally believe is that when you see me physically, I want it to only be a product of what's inside. I want to work from the inside out. When you see the outside of me and you hear me speak, it's only because it's motivated from something inside. If I'm extremely strong, I'm strong here and I'm strong here. Now, there's uh, several questions that I've been asked about low T for men that are over 35, over 40. Um, and I know that at a certain age, your hormone levels drop. At the age of 23, uh, your body stops producing as much human growth hormone, natural human growth hormone. So for most people, they think their option is to take human growth hormone supplementation. But little do we know that we have about 23 micrograms of human growth hormone that sits right beneath the pituitary gland. All we have to do is release it. And there are several ways of releasing your own natural human growth hormone. And that growth hormone sits there until you're about 80 to 85 years old. We've just got to do what it takes to uh, release it. And when I talk about living above your persuasion or what you believe, what I mean by that is this. I will never outperform what I believe that I'm capable of. I was told when I was in, um, on the Army swim team, I swam in high school and I did really, really well, but I was told that black people were not supposed to be able to swim. Well, I had already won the state championships in high school and now I'm swimming for the Army, so I don't believe this. So in my mind, I've already been conditioned to live above what they expect a black person to do. I don't even know what that means. If you're black, you can't swim. I don't even know what that means. So I went, I went beyond and above that. And I want to tell you the epiphany or the revelation that I got out of that. If I would have been taught that black people are not capable of swimming before I got on the swim team, I might have bought into that and never ever swim one race because I'm already preconditioned in my mind to believe that I can't. So I take that same analogy and that same principle across my whole life. When they say after 35, you're supposed to get weaker. When they say after 35, you're supposed to have low T and uh, your human growth hormone goes down. I want to be the very one that defies that. Just like with swimming, they say I'm not supposed to be able to swim. Well, I want you to watch this little clip of me swimming. Now that you've seen that, I want you to watch something else. I want you to watch me set a goal, a strength goal, and I want you to watch me achieve it. I want you to watch me. I'm gonna use the bicep curls as an example. I think 60 pound bicep curls are heavy curls, but I'm not gonna limit myself to that. You'll see me doing 60 pound dumbbell curls, and then you'll see me slowly decline to 55 pound dumbbell curls, and the 55 dumbbell curls are killer. But by February 6th, I will be doing 
75 to 80 pound dumbbell curls. I'm saying 75 to, uh, to soften it a little bit so that just in case I don't do 80, I know I can do 75. I know, I, I know I'll be able to do that by then. But I'm gonna challenge myself. I'm gonna do 80 pound dumbbell curls by February 6th. And I'm gonna prove to you and prove to the rest of the world that our minds are stronger than we think they are. Our minds have more control over our physical capacity than we think it does. I believe there's something amazing in each one of us. Each one of us, including you. And my goal with this channel is to bring the amazing out. And when I do this, it's just an example of bringing out something that I consider to be amazing with those dumbbell curls. But that translates into my marriage, that translates into my relationship with God, it translates into my friendship, it translates into my moral soundness. So when you see me physically, I want it to only be a reflection of what's inside of me. So, if you like this video, remember this is one of two, I want you to subscribe, and I also want you to get your friends to subscribe, and we want to keep this channel as clean as we can, so any of your uh, responses, try to keep them clean. No, don't try, keep them clean, and uh, we welcome your responses. I was told, um, well, I've had several comments about you know, my arms, and they say, man, it looks like you've been taking Synthrol, you've been taking drugs to get your arms like that. I consider that a backhanded compliment. What you're really saying is, man, you can't look like that and be natural. If you feel that way, not only are you limiting me in your mind, but you're limiting yourself to say you can't do that and be natural. Take that limitation off. And I want you to say, if Juan can do it at 53, I can do it at 60. If Juan can do it at 53, I can do it at 23. Come on, let's do this together. I want you to watch this. I'm gonna go over, I've done the 60 pound dumbbells and they were heavy. You'll see that here shortly. But I'm gonna use 65 pound dumbbells today and by February 6th, you're gonna see 75, no, 80 pound dumbbell curls. You know why? Because I am amazing. God bless you.